Details View Bill The National Identification and Registration Act, 2021 View Explanatory Notes for Bill Robinson, Julian v. Attorney General of Jamaica, Judgment Nullifying 2017 NIDS Act Overview The absence of a national identification, which would cover all citizens, is among the ills that the National Identification System, NIDS, is seeking to cure. According to the government's website for NIDS, https colon double forward slash www.nidsfacts.com A secure national identification system for Jamaica has the potential to positively transform the efficiency and transparency of interactions between the state and the citizens and residents with significant additional positive effects for private businesses. The National Identification System, NIDS, when implemented, will provide a safe, convenient and reliable means for persons to prove their identity while aiding in the furtherance of the digitalization of government, which is expected to reduce bureaucracy and encourage efficiency and accountability in the public sector. Additionally, when government and private sector transactions are based on a secure national identification number, NIN, supported by a national identification card, NIC, crimes such as identity theft, fraud, trafficking in persons and other crimes related to identity and property will be significantly reduced. Antecedents While discussions around a national registration system have been happening from as far back as the 1970s, progress towards its implementation has accelerated in the past five, five, years. The current bill has benefited from the deliberations of a joint select committee, which accepted submissions, on the 2020 version of the bill, from a wide range of individuals and organizations. This is in contrast to the 2017 bill, which was passed in controversial circumstances, and without debate in the lower House of Parliament. That act was later the subject of a constitutional challenge, brought by opposition MP Julian Robinson. The court found that there was a violation of the constitutional rights to privacy and that the justification given by the government did not meet the constitutional standards, leading them to declare the law null and void. Introduced, the 20th of July 2021. First tabled, the 20th of July 2021. Status, passed. Introduced by. The Most Honourable Andrew Holness, O.N., P.C., M.P. St. Andrew West Central, J.L.P. Educational Video Timeline Timeline December, 2021 Royal Assent Received October 2021. Passed. October, 2021. Third reading. October, 2021. Report stage. October, 2021. Committee stage. Jill, 2021. Proposed introduced. Please see JAMP's tracking of the 2020 version of the bill for more context. Twenty eighteen HCV zero one seven eight eight. The Honorable Mr. Justice Brian Sykes. Chief Justice the Honorable Mr. Justice David Batts the Honorable Mrs. Justice Lisa Palmer Hamilton, A.G. Between Julian J. Robinson claimant and the Attorney General of Jamaica defendant in open court. Michael Hilton QC, Donna Scott Motley, Jennifer Hussein and Sophia Fraser Bins instructed by Paul Well Fraser Bins and co for the claimant. Marlene Malahu Forte QC, Attorney General of Jamaica, Althea Jarrett, Deputy Attorney General, Marlene Aldred, Deputy Attorney General. Carla Thomas, Assistant Attorney General, Donia Fuller Barrett, Crown Counsel, Andre Basco, Crown Counsel, and Jeffrey Foreman, Crown Counsel for the Defendant.
Constitutional law, test of constitutionality, burden of proof presumption of constitutionality, whether Oak's test applicable, whether court can consider matters not pleaded, Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedoms, sections 13, 1, 2, 3, A, G, H, I, 2, J, I, 2, 3, M, N, O, Q, R, National Identification and Registration Act, sections 2, 4, 6, 15, 20, 23, 27, 1, 30, 36, 4, 39, 40, 41, 43, 45 and 60 and the third and sixth schedules of that. Act, whether offending provisions severable, consideration of decision of the Indian. Supreme Court in relation to the Adhar project, consideration of Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms and the decisions of Canadian courts in that regard. Heard. October 22, 23, 24, 2018 and April 12, 2019. Index. Heading paragraph, S. Sykes CJ. The beginning 1 to 4. A clause, naked politics dressed up in the form of a right 5 to 9. The National Identification and Registration Act, NERA, 10 to 42. Important definitions in NERA 43 to 58. The first necessary analysis, a review of the ancient regime 59 to 83. The second necessary analysis, proportionality 84 to 106. The third necessary analysis, the ingredients of proportionality 107 to 110. The fourth necessary analysis, the presumption of constitutionality, what it means in the context of the Charter, and how it ought to be used in adjudication. 111 to 131. The fifth necessary analysis, policy, judicial deference, margin of appreciation and constitutionality 132 to 145. The sixth necessary analysis, Prematurity 146 to 152. The seventh necessary analysis, proportionality and the separation of powers 153 to 171. The eight necessary analysis, freedom and privacy 172 to 179. Proportionality, the Mauritian Constitution the Mauritian Supreme Court and the Judicial Committee of the Privy Council. 180-202 The proper approach to adjudication on the constitutionality of legislation in the Jamaican Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedoms. 203 Cases from the United States of America 204-213 the evidence of the defendant 214 to 229. The nature of biometric systems 230 to 246. The analysis of the claim 247. Conclusion 248 to 254. Remedy 255 to 261. Bats J. Introduction 262 to 268. The claim 269 to 286. The defense 287 to 311. Analysis and decision 312 to 371. Overview of the National Identification and Registration Act, NERA, 312 to 322. The test for constitutionality, an analysis of the presumption of constitutionality and the Oaks test 323 to 327. Analysis of the Indian Supreme Court decision of Justice K. S. Puttaswamy, Retted, and another v. Union of India and others writ petition, Civil, No. 494 of 2012. 328 to 341. Analysis of the claim and decision 342 to 367. 
severability and unpleaded relief 368 to 370. Costs 371. Conclusion 372 to 376. Palmer Hamilton J. A.G. Concurring Comments 377 to 378 The International Perspective 379 to 388 The Commonwealth Perspective 389 to 390 The Regional Context 391 to 394 To sever or not to sever? That is the question 395 to 398 Conclusion 399 to 405 Sykes C.J. Dissent has a troubled history. The word dissident has often been a pejorative term. Dissenters have rarely been welcomed, and are frequently viewed with suspicion not only by the dominant power but also by majoritarian opinion. And yet in a democracy, dissent is essential. It is indispensable to our freedom. In fact, it is one of the authentic voices of our freedom, particularly in times of exception, in wars, declared and undeclared, when the freedom of the citizen is at stake, and particularly when the state itself seeks to curtail fundamental freedoms in the name of national security, or economic development or whatever other perceived end worth pursuing. 